Hey everybody, it's Vicious765 here, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about King of Fighters 14, my reaction to the trailer and whatnot. Now, I was hyped when I seen King of Fighters 14, because I don't really advertise it as much, because there was never really a big online community for King of Fighters 13 or 12, because the online capabilities were uh, not that good let's say that it was very laggy and it was practically unbearable it was unplayable for king of fires the king of fires franchise if you ask me but you know that's just me i'm not a pro king of fires player i hadn't even been playing it a very long time i've always knew of the game and admired it and i like it more than street fighter but that's just me i like the way it flows i like the technicality of it i like the roll system i like the um block roll whatever the hell it is i like it um and the ex mode is pretty cool too now i like the characters there i don't really know too much about the story but i like some of the characters i like their moves sets and whatnot and i like how it diversifies the series now this is all things you know keep in mind that you know make king of fighters the way that it plays and the way that it looks and it's always had a good cool three um 2d sprite look am i saying that correctly it's 2d sprites right had a 2d look to it you know in the king of fighters maximum impact series um they um had a 3d look to them and a lot of people from what i understand didn't really like it i guess i looked at a review for king of fighters maximum impact 3 and apparently it was pretty decent but you know i never played it so i can't really say anything the site out that i looked at for that was the fighters generation which you know they hate bloody roar so i can i'm kind of like shaky on what they think is good you know because bloody roar is no in, in no sense a bad game um in my opinion well, maybe in a couple of ways it's kind of bad, but, you know, those are very minuscule and don't take away from the game that much. But King of Fighters 14, what I got to say about that is King of Fighters 14, I looked at the trailer and the most the thing that I'm most concerned with is the look of the moves. It looked like, I don't know if um, Iori was doing a super or whatever, I forget what it's called on KOF. Or if he was doing just a regular combo, or even a Rekka, that's a Rekka is when you do a special move like at least two or three times in a row, some special moves that connect to each other. And I didn't know if he was doing that because it was a part of his move set or whatever, or if that was an old move because I never really had much experience with Iori. But um, it didn't really look that good, because I've seen some KOF 13 supers, and, you know, they're all fast, the characters punch fast, they kick fast, they get all fast and whatnot, which I think is like a signature of the series, and, you know, the, the way the supers go, and this looked kind of slow and clunky. Now, as for graphics, graphics, I won't complain about too much, because the game might be still in early development, because one thing that I took from the trailer was that... They only gave us 45 seconds, and all they gave us was Keo and Iori, and they gave us two special moves, possibly three special moves, and the super beginning animation of one guy. Now, that's not enough for me to really pass judgment on this game yet, because that just tells me I don't think they really developed this game a lot, you know? We've seen Bloodborne. Um, Bloodborne was another game at TGS, and um, Bloodborne... Um, the Old Hunters is the name of the expansion. Now, that, you can tell, is late into development, especially because of the release date, because it's coming out in November. It's September, right? Um, September, October, November. So, yeah, in two months, we get to play that. And from the trailer, it looks pretty much finished, you know? But from King of F... K King of F... KOF 14, all we've seen is 45 seconds, and the whole 45 seconds wasn't even gameplay. All we know is for PS3 and PS4 only, the home of fighting games, apparently, this generation. And, you know, we know Kyo Kusanagi and Iori Yagami are in the game. Now, we don't really know a lot, is what I'm saying, and people are blowing it out of proportion because they're moving from 2D to 3D. Now, three, look, Street Fighter 4... It's still going to play in a 2D sense, like Street Fighter 4 or Mortal Kombat. But Street Fighter 4, in my opinion, was the worst looking fighting game on last generation. Now, I do mean PS3, you know. It looked bad in 3D. Mortal Kombat 9 looked better in 3D. As a matter of fact, Street Fighter 5 is... From what I can see, Street Fighter 5 and Mortal Kombat X are beautiful. 
in my opinion. I know I'm not that big of a Street Fighter fan, but they look beautiful in contrast to what, you know, we got on King, King of Fighters 14 so far. So let's just keep an open mind and wait for this game to develop more. I mean, the game is based off teams of three. So we only got to see two people. We didn't get to see a life bar or anything. So let's just be patient and wait to see what um, SNK has to offer us, which was bought out by a Chinese company with supposedly, I think, more money. So let's wait, guys. Peace.